probably move right through me on Hey guys, now today I have for you the uh, standard trick that can be done with an invisible deck. So right here, as you can see, I've got an invisible deck and I'm just going to hand it over to my spectator to give it some shuffles. Thank you. Can you have to take it out of the box oh, first? Oh, sorry. I mean, like... Okay. Obviously. <laughs> Alright, so you're sure that the deck is in a totally random Definitely. order. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to just select a card, any card. Okay, you've this got a one. card. Yes. It's the... Uh, it's the Nine of Spades. It's the Nine of Spades. Now that's quite an intriguing card for you to have picked. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to place it face down in an entirely face up deck. Okay. And then just give it a shuffle so no one knows, even you don't know, <laughs> where exactly that card is. Okay. Okay, you've got that now I'd like to place it back in the box and pass the deck back to me. Now quickly, I'm just going to take the invisible deck out of camera shot and with a snap, I'll bring it back. And as you can see now, it's it's a real deck. You can touch it mm -hmm. and everything. You probably don't believe that this is the same deck that my spectator shuffled only a few seconds ago. But I can prove to you that it is. Because my spectator placed their selection, the Nine of Spades, face down in an entirely face-up deck. If we go through the cards, we find that there is just one card face down in an entirely face up deck and that card wow nine of spades is the spectator selection the nine of spades brilliant thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time